Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are doing well. So today we are going to solve the problem reorder list, right? So as usual, we'll be going through the problem statement, the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up. So the problem says you are given the head of a singly linked list. The list can be represented as L0, L1, likewise Ln minus 1, Ln, right? So you have to reorder the list to be on the following form. So here, here they have expected a form. So what kind of form it is? That first L0, then Ln, Ln is the last node, then L1, then last second node ln minus one then l2 then ln minus two nodes so like that we have to reorder the list and they have clearly specified that they are not expecting from our end that we have to modify the values in the list nodes so it's not like you are modifying the values you have to change the nodes themselves right this the nodes storing the addresses those sort of stuff you have to do it's not just you are just swapping the values and doing those things so they have clearly specified here that you cannot modify the values right so here is this uh link list given to us one two three four so as per the expected form the output of this one should be one one the first node then the last node that is four then second node two and then second last node that is three so one four two three would be the output Similarly, if here you will here you will see about it. So one, then last node five, then second node two, then second last node four, then three, right? And post that we don't have any node, right? So one five two four three is the expectation for this particular uh, test case, right? So let's understand how we'll be solving this problem. So let's understand the approach to solve this particular problem. And guys, before proceeding ahead, make sure to subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. So yeah, let's have a look on the approach part. Okay, so let's say this is the test case as of now we are considering. So here, if you will see, right, that we know the logic of reversing the link list. I believe that we have already uh, solved that particular problem. If not, then first watch how to reverse a linked list that is important for this one so let's say if we are breaking this list like that so we have one two right or then one two then we have three four five right you can understand in this way that we are trying to find the middle of the linked list middle of the linked list so here if you will see uh, 3 is the middle so we broke from here we broke from we have broken the link from here and now we have 1 2 3 4 5 right so see the prerequisite is that you should know first how to find the middle of linked list second is reverse the so this problem is you know is is a good problem like it will checking like whether you know how to find the middle of a linked list then reverse the linked list so once you have find out that the middle of the linked list so we have broken the links we have made basically two separate linked lists from out of this so we have one two and three four five now if you will reverse it if we will reverse this particular list so we will have five four three and null right and now so as of now we are having these two list right five four three null so now let's let's form the links so one is connected to connected to five five is connected to two then two is connected to four right and then four is connected because suppose that in this list there is nothing so four obviously would be still remain connected to three and then null so we will get one five two four three let's take let's take one more example so other example let me let me have a look so what it was one two three four so the expectation is one four two three one two three four so let's say we are having let's say we are having one two three four so first thing we have to do is that find the middle of the linked list 
so middle from here you will get three this part this chunk right this chunk so first list that would be formed would be one two one two then another list that would be formed will be three four now what we have to do the second list that has been formed we have to reverse it so on reversal on reversal one two on reversal we will get four three and now we have to form the links right so one will be pointing to four this link will be removed then four will be pointing to two in zigzag motion basically we are connecting one four two and then two connected to three so the output would be one four two three and that's what the expectation is you got the idea what we have to do what we have to do overall you got the idea right so now um let's take one two three four five itself here because at the top there is lots of hodgepodge right okay let me remove this uh, okay i'm not sure why it's not okay so let's let's first focus on finding the middle so if you will see let's take two pointers slow and fast so and one more prev prev pointer so once see slow pointer when you will start finding the middle right so okay let's let's understand so that eventually you will get to know so, slow pointer how we will update slow pointer we will move one step ahead and fast pointer we will move two steps ahead and prev would be responsible for keeping track of the previous node that we have seen before slow pointer the previous node that we have seen before slow pointer so as of now both are pointing to head now slow would be updated to slow dot next prev let's say initially it is null so prev would be updated to whatever is the value of the slow which is nothing but previously what was the value one and slow would be updated with slow dot next and fast would be updated with fast dot next dot next to so fast is here then we have to continue till the time fast is not equal to null or fast dot next is not equal to null so the condition is getting satisfied so we will move further so now prev would be first of all prev would be updated with the value of slow so what is slow as of now pointing to 2 right so prev will be pointing to 2 as of now and slow would be updated to slow dot next so slow would be pointing to this one and fast as we are updating it as fast dot next dot next matlab ye do step le rahe so fast dot next dot next so fast will be here next time and we will check the condition so even though fast is not equal to null but fast dot next is equal to null we will stop right there so see so you can see this node uh this one this is returning the middle part middle of the linked list so now we have to break these two linked list so that's why we were keeping track from the previous what is the previous node itself because in linked list you cannot go to the previous node singly linked list you cannot go to the previous node so what we will do so as of now we are having the track of the previous node right the previous node to the slope so what we will do we will make okay prev dot next let it be null so the first list that we got is one two and to its next we made null null is there right and then slow is pointing to this this list this list which is nothing but three four five up till here everything is sorted up till here everything is clear now the thing is the second list this one three four five that we have got we have to reverse it so i'm not going to explain the logic of reversal of the linked list i have already did so so i would suggest you to watch the video the link is in the description and in the i button also i've included so we will uh, use that particular logic and we will reverse this list so uh, let's say this is the list that we have got let's say we have reverse list and to this and in reverse we are passing our what pointer slow pointer because this is pointing to our 345 this particular complete list right 
so to this we are uh, passing this and uh, the expectation is this reverse method will give us the reverse list which is nothing but 5 4 3 so now we have our two list right two list we have l1 l1 which is nothing but 1 2 and reverse list which is nothing but 5 4 3 now all we have to do is we have to merge these two list right so let's discuss the logic for merging these two list as well as per the expectation so l1 is pointing to this one right and let's call a reverse list is a kind of complicated name let's call it as l2 is pointing to this one l1 and l2 we have so we will continue till the time l1 is not equal to null and l2 is not equal to null we will continue doing our stuff so what it is so first um uh, see we have to remove this link between 1 and 2 and we have to make this one point towards 5 so it's important that we store this node somewhere right in a particular node we store this value so that when we want to get to this node we can move to it so let's call l1 next we are storing the value of l1 dot next which is nothing but node 2 and similarly in l2 next we are storing l2 ka next which is nothing but 5 and now what we are doing is that we are updating the value of l1 dot next l1 we are saying hey l1 your next would be l2 means remove this link from here and point to l2 point to l2 so one will be pointing to 5 now right and now see if l1 got ended before no so obviously we have to consider the remaining l2 part so we will have that if l1 is not equal to null and before that one more thing we can do that see we have consider this node no one we have already considered so we will update l1 as l1 next which is nothing but 2 so now l1 is pointing to this 2 right that's why we stored this l1 dot next to into this node so that later on we can hope on to this so l1 uh, is pointing to this 2 now so what the expectation is that this 5 should point to this 2 now that only the expectation is that this the link between 5 and 4 should be removed and 5 should be pointing to 2 now so that's what we are checking l1 not equal to null so l1 is pointing to 2 as of now so obviously it is not null so l1 is not equal to null so do what that l2 ka next so as of now l2 is pointing to which node 5 hey l2 ke next can you please point to l1 can you please point to l1 so this link will be broken will be removed and 5 will be pointing to 2 right now we will update l2 as well so l2 will be updated with l2 next which is nothing but this node 4 so l2 will be pointing to this one right hope you got it okay so again again we will get into the loop so l1 is not equal to null yes because l1 is pointing to as of now to this 2 and l2 is also not equal to null then again we will store the value of next uh, in l1 and l1 next l2 next so l1 dot next is what null so in l1 next we will be having null and l2 next so l2 dot next which is nothing but 3 so in l2 next we will be having 3 so what we are doing here is that l1 ka next so l1 is right now pointing to which no 2 so hey l1 ke next can you please point to l2 l2 is nothing but this node 4 right so l1 will be so this this link will be removed and 2 will be pointing to 4 and then we will check if and then we will obviously first update the value of l1 to l l1 next so l1 next is what null right there is nothing no nothing no so obviously l1 is what null so this condition is not going to be true right and then again when we will check our condition so l1 is null this time right so we will come out of the loop so you can see this is what the linked list that has been merged that has the merged list that has been formed which is nothing but 1 5 5 is pointing to 2 2 is pointing to 4 and 4 is pointing to 3 and then 3 is after 3 we have none so we got it right we got it so yeah that's the only thing that you have to do for solving this particular problem i hope you understood the approach so um i'm sure at once maybe you won't be able to get it i mean going through the problem and everything then maybe this logic cannot at once you you will get it um but yeah so this is the approach for solving this particular problem 
so if you got the approach part right so i believe you can do the implementation by yourself even though let's have a look on the implementation as well in java so here uh, if head equal equal null or head dot next is equal equal null if that is the case so simply just return see our method is not returning anything the order list is just uh, it's just a sort of arrangement that we have to do in a in a, in a given list so if head is null or it's null and next is null so we have to simply return otherwise what we are doing is that we are having our current node which is pointing to head slow and fast logic i already discussed slow and fast initially they both are pointing to head and prev uh, we have initialized this with null so the first task is to find the middle and then make two separate linkages right so the same thing we are doing here is that till the time fast is not equal to null and its next is not fast dot next is not equal to null so prev value is keeping track of the previous node to which slow was pointing to and then we are updating the slow and fast as slow slow will be updated as slow dot next and fast is updated as fast dot next dot next and then we are creating two separate lists so what we are doing is that prev dot next point to null right and this is our second list that we will get post reversal reversal of what reverse of the slow to the list to which slow is pointing to for example in this case slow was pointing to this three four five chunk right so that's what we are providing and this reverse list will so this is a logic for reversal i am not going to explain this because i have already created a video about the same if you don't know how to reverse a link list video is in the i button in the description refer that right so this list or this method is going to give us the reverse list right then in our merge method uh, we are going to provide our both list first is the current list which is nothing but one two and reverse list which is five four three and merged logic we have already discussed right so we are having both the list and we will continue in this while loop till the time l1 is not equal to null and l2 is not equal to null l1 next l2 next is storing the next node so that because we are rearranging rearranging the nodes no so that we can get to the next node so that's why we are storing the l1 next uh, in l1 next l1 dot next and l2 next we are storing l2 dot next then the expectation is that l1 dot next should point to l2 i already discussed about it right so l1 dot next should point to l2 means one should point towards five right and then we are updating the value of l1 as l1 next and then here we are checking if l1 not equal to null so the expectation is that l2 the node to which l2 is pointing to its next should point to l1 right and then l2 will be updated as l2 next right so yeah that was the code for the approach that we discussed hope you were able to understand it so thank you so much for watching everyone keep learning keep preparing bye bye